collaboration of art and science. The first Central Asian bio-arts exhibition was opened in Astana. It is organized by the IGEM Student Club of Nazarbayev University with the support of Kulantri Contemporary Art Center. The unique exhibition is devoted to the environment, biology and the theme of human diversity. For almost a year, young scientists and students of Nazarbayev University nourished the idea of opening such an unusual exhibition. The main goal was to convey the wealth and diversity of the biological world to mankind through art, as not everyone was familiar with it. For example, this work of Anel Umerbaeva represented special tactical 3D models of plant and animal cells designed for children with visual impairments. The author noted that they symbolized the unity of of the living organism and all living things in general. Here you can find a lot of my works, pictures that were made in our Nazarbayev University laboratories and the exhibition is fully adapted to blind people. Here you can see the description in three languages which are written in braille. We also provide audio description that helps to navigate people through exhibition. Besides, it will become inclusive and accessible to people without any limitations. Bio art and bio design are popular trends in Western countries. Students try to showcase the extraordinary beauty and uniqueness of human DNA, as well as living organisms like bacteria, animal and plant cells. Along with this, all authors endeavor to reflect the current problems of mankind in their exhibits and photographs. The exhibition is unique in its content and perception. It unveils human development and environmental problems, as well as the issues related to animal species of the Rare Data Book. The exposition displays unusual and unique exhibits indeed, since pictures made by using snail muckers and ants, as well as a human cell magnified 1,000 times, are not something you see every day. I mean, it's fascinating and beautiful at the same time. The exhibition will run for no more than two weeks because part of the exhibits representing living organisms in test tubes cannot be stored in such conditions longer, the organizers note. So those who want to visit the bio-arts exhibition need to hurry up.